Hey guys, it's Poly Dude here, and I'm here to tell you how you can soft reset and shiny hunt alphas in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Poly Dude again, and welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you being here. And today I'm going to show you another how-to video. This one's going to be on soft resetting for shiny alpha Pokemon and Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, this is actually really cool. I learned this about a month ago, and I kind of wanted to share about it because. I don't think a lot of people know that this is possible or exists, and it's actually kind of really fun to do. Let's go ahead and jump into it. The first thing is kind of just a prep step, uh, and that's gonna be making sure that you have the um, massive mass outbreaks unlocked. So I'm not quite sure if this is a post-game thing strictly or if you can get it uh, pre-post game. Um, I did it when the uh, update came out after I'd already beaten the game, so I, I don't really know for that, but that's something that's essential. You're gonna need to have those massive mass outbreaks for these to work. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump into the next step, which is the very first step. Uh, and that's gonna be finding our target. So um, when picking a target, it's really important because some of these alphas, you're not actually gonna be able to shiny hunt. It's really sad, um, but we'll talk about that. Let's talk about what we can shiny hunt and then I'll kind of go over some examples of uh, ones you can't shiny hunt. So um, let's go ahead and start off in the first area. We got the Obsidian Field Lands, which you're gonna have Alpha, Al Alpha, you're gonna have Alpha Alakazam, Alpha Babero, Alpha Floatzel, Alpha Luxio. In the Crimson Mire Land, you're going to have Alpha Ursaring, Alpha Skunk Tank, Alpha Yomega, Alpha Onyx, and Alpha Toxicroak. Uh, Cobalt Coast Land, you're going to have Alpha Octillery, Alpha Machoke, Alpha Drapion, and that's going to be it for that. Pretty small, but the Cornet Highlands are going to have the most here with Alpha Steelix, Alpha Rhyperior, uh, Alpha Propass, Alpha Electivire, Alpha Gligar, Alpha Golem, Alpha Carnivine, and Alpha Mothum. So there's some really good targets in there. But uh, last but not least, we're gonna have the Alabaster Ice Lens, which is gonna be Alpha Mamoswine, Alpha Glalie, Alpha Garchomp, Alpha Bomb of Snow, and Alpha Gardevoir. So those are pretty good ones too. Um, a lot to choose from. However, you're not gonna be able to do um, ones like the Heracross, and Obsidian Field Lands, the Snorlax there as well, um, the Lopunny, or any of like generation four starters, any of those alphas. And that kind of will tie into how this works. Um, and so we'll do that in the next in the next step and talk about. So, um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump into that. Um, the first thing I wanna do is just show you some gameplay and I can do it right along and show you exactly how to do it. So I'm gonna go hop over there. All right, hey guys, I'm over here in the gameplay and we're gonna show you exactly how to set up for a soft reset for shiny head. So the first thing that we're gonna do is pick our target, obviously, which uh, in this example, I'm gonna go for Floatzel. So that's gonna be here in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Um, yeah, let's just go to Fieldlands Camp. So, um, and I'll kind of explain how this works right now, kind of while I'm getting there. So essentially how this works is um, all the alphas, as you know, have a specific spawn, spawn point, right? So um, they'll always show up there 100% of the time. Um, well, this is an exception with the massive mass outbreaks. Um, this is because there are those groups or the outbreak that actually spawn right over the top of the alpha spawning. So it essentially it kind of suppresses the alpha from spawning. So there's kind of a little um, way you can kind of trick the game into giving you an alpha spawn um, because the alpha spawn isn't there. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is bringing us to step two, which is going to be um, clearing out the outbreak that's there. So then we're able to have our alpha spawn. So um, right now it looks like I got some Chimchars right here. So we're gonna go ahead and clear this out. Another pro tip is to mark where all the alpha spots are on your map as shown above. And this will help you just instantly be able to know whether your spawn is being blocked off or not. Um, but yeah, anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so it says the reported Pokemon seem to be gone. So this is the exact thing that you want to see. So now that the, the outbreak is gone, um, the alpha will be able to spawn here. So um, this next part is kind of important. You want to pick a spot where you might not be spotted immediately. Um, if So like you wouldn't want to be out here because then the alpha will probably see you. So being in the grass or somewhere in hiding where the alpha probably won't see you is kind of optimal. So um, you're going to want to pick that. So. I think right here is a pretty good spot. So the next step, what you're gonna do is just save. Um, so you're gonna save the game just like that. And then um, after you do that, the last step is to just reset until you get a shiny. So um, just reset the game. And I'm just gonna show you for tutorial purposes, uh, this actually works. Um, and kind of show you how to make sure that you're doing it correctly and you're getting a new spawn. So 
Um, one thing that I want to do in the future is also make a um, tutorial on how to do soft resetting for Sword and Shield. Um, and it's pretty similar to this actually. Um, but this is a little funky because there are some other things that are kind of fun about it. But um, I'll talk about that later in the video. So um, here we should have our Alpha Floatzel. And then I'll show you how you can make sure that you're getting a correct spawn. So there's our Alpha Floatzel now. Um, yeah, unfortunately, you don't spawn crouching. I forgot about that part, but that's okay. So, um, as you can see, our Alpha Floatzel, if you get close enough, oops, you're able to hit the left trigger and see that this is a, a, a male. So, um, you'll want to check when you reset the next time, as I'll do. And just make sure that that's a female. Um, and then that way you'll know that you're getting a brand new spawn each time it's not the same and that means that it can be shiny so essentially right now we are able to shiny hunt this alpha float soul um, and you just keep going until you get the shiny just like any other soft reset now the kind of cool um, funny thing about this way of uh, shiny hunting and doing a soft reset is you're actually able to phase so in my attempts to try and get the shiny alpha steelix I've I phased like three times and so what I mean by that is um, so see over there, there's a abusal. So that also has a new spawn, um, new, like, I guess spawns with it because it's anywhere in the area that the outbreak is. So it doesn't necessarily have to be, um, and see that's a female. So we know we did it correctly, but here's another abusal. Um, all of these can also be shiny because their spawn, um, point was blocked off by the outbreak. So kind of cool. Um, so if I didn't even get this, you could say and try to, let's say you got the shiny buzel instead, you can phase on it. Now, if you do happen to phase and you want to take the shiny buzel, you will have to unfortunately reset up the entire hunt over again. So um, that is just something to note, um, but yeah. So I think that's about it for um, the, how to set up a uh, soft resetting shiny hunt and uh, alpha Pokemon and Pokemon Legends Arceus. So well, that's going to wrap up our video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful and that you guys are getting excited to possibly do a new way of shiny hunting in Pokemon Legends Arceus because I know some of the other ways are getting a little bit stale. But uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I'm trying to put out a video every week if I can. Um, that's a really big goal of mine. Also, I do stream on Twitch um, on Wednesdays and Saturdays at the moment, but you can just... Check the link below and I'll have the most updated time on my Twitch there. But uh, really appreciate you guys and hopefully you get to see you in the future. Have a good one.